War Turtle said he would give this one a whirl. Just opened the case. 1516 Upper Deck Series 1, number 67. Are you talking to me, Scott? I mean, other orders have came through. Has anyone else had an issue checking out on either side, breakers or on YouTube? Anyone that's live, has anyone tried to check out but couldn't? The only person I heard that was J-Sig. J-Sig said that um, he tried to get in the $64 one, but it, it was kept empty in his cart. Oh, Jason just took one, so there's four left. Scott? Four left. Mr. Random Hero said, I don't think it's an issue with checking out. Although J Sig said he couldn't check out. Said he really wanted in but can't check out. I told him to send direct PayPal. I don't know if he has it though. I can look into that, Eli, and see what the price is now. That's yet another one of those products I had to sell way below what I paid for it. Finally got rid of it. Bought like four cases. And I think I sold the last two and a half cases below cost. By like eight or ten dollars a box. So I can check and see what the current market value is and if they have any. Random Hero just got a spot and he said it was fine. Like I say, the only person that said they had an issue was JSIG. But if anybody else has had an issue on checkout, let me know. Because if it's more than one person, it could be a site issue. But I think it's just JSIG. I don't have any blasters of that Bronco guy. What's up, Brent Broderick? Are you related to Matthew? How much are you asking, Ronnie? on that Kobe. I have no idea, Bronco guy. I don't have it. Could do that, Scott, just to get rid of them. I try to keep all my boxes right above cost anyway, so it's hard to take a lot off without losing money. <laughs> You know, I would say I'm probably 30% cheaper than most hobby stores on most products. People that own hobby stores. Evgeny Malkin. Mike Condon. Henrik Zetterberg. After all, I'm only human. After all, 
Let me know if I pass something. I don't think I have. Aaron Ekblad. Aaron Ekblad. Aaron Ek Good. They should they should take these glossy cards because they know they're going to be in boxes for more than a minute, and they should put some sort of. I don't know what you put on it with that wouldn't damage the car, but Panini's done it before. Some kind of powder, but not a lot. And then they won't stick. Victor Arvidsson. Patrick Kane was his name. He served on the Damble train. Heard that once. Carey Price. Connor Brickley. Check the IM. I could check it. I won't, but I could. Ryan Miller. I'll check it after this. Alright, I think that's all of them. Well, not really. Ryan Johansson. Emil Poirier. Phone's ringing, dude. Thank you, Dunny. Wayne Simmons. Simmons is old. Let me grab that really quick, Simon. To the lecture at hand, perfection is perfected. So I'm gonna let him understand from a young G's perspective. Guy Lafleur. He's an old G now. He was a young G. Vladimir Tarasenko. Yuri Hoodler. All right, these were all loose. That's weird. Whatever, wherever these packs were located in the box, all the cards were normal. Sergei uh, Kalinin. Sidney Crosby. Rick Nash. P.K. Subban. Jersey of Jonathan Quick when it comes to the gas. He likes the way you work it. No diggity. Jacob or Jakob De La Rose. Young gun and base. Jakob, Sergey, Emil, Connor, not McDavid, Brickley, Victor, and Mike Condon. Those were your young guns. John Quick. Yeah, I'll show them to you, War Turtles. Thanks, man. <laughs> 